So earlier today, we actually did a white box review of the Prowler, uh, which is the first stage and the four step process that we go through to build the ship. So I kind of want to show you guys what that process is like and how it's looking for the Prowler. So let's take a look. So what you're looking at here in blue, uh, I set up as a blue color so that the designers can easily identify what's interactive. So this back door is gonna end up opening, a ramp will come out so that you can climb up into the back of the ship. This ship in particular, since it's a drop ship, has uh, many doors on the sides of it so that players can jump out. And this ship in particular can actually carry a crew of 20 in addition to the pilot and the co-pilot. Let me make this a little transparent so you can actually see how the interior spaces fit within it. So you're seeing here some just temp fog that I put in there. This is just as part of the white box process. We go in there and actually start breaking out the interior spaces and adding effects and things like that. So that way we can kind of get a sense that it's kind of complete from a feature standpoint. And then we'll go in there and finalize everything later on. But you can see here we've got the drop room, which holds a ton of people. We've got this little sort of foyer area right in front of the co-pilot station. Then we've got a second floor where inside here we're actually going to have a lot of the components are going to be accessible in this space. If you have to repair something or if you want to replace an item or something like that, that's, this is the room that it's going to be in, which is right next to the pilot entrance. So the player will end up sitting on this and the seat will rotate, get into position, and this will give you kind of an idea of what the pilot's view is going to be in here. So we're aiming to have as much player view as possible from this position. And obviously we don't have any of the struts built or any of that stuff yet because we haven't gone through the process of building it. But we want to keep the view as clear as possible. It would be pretty cool. This ship in particular actually has some really cool things about it. Like it kind of transforms a little bit and I can show you in my max scene, so this is actually what I put together. And this max scene, the other thing that we end up doing for white box is we end up creating a set of temporary animations. So that way we can actually hook all this stuff up and it's entirely usable from the very beginning. So this ship basically uses its main engines also as its VTOL engines to land. On the VTOL engines, you've also got these little wings that stick out. So these are going to be kind of redesigned so that they make a little bit more sense because currently the position doesn't really block view as much to the players. But the idea here is that characters are going to jump out of the sides of the vehicle, drop to the ground, and while this is landed, these wings here will help sort of protect the people that are jumping out. So kind of like screening fire and stuff like that. This is uh, essentially what we end up doing during the white box. But it was cool to sort of give you guys a, a look at what it's kind of like within the first two to three weeks of working on a brand new ship. This is kind of the process that we go through on every ship. We just make it functional and flyable as early as possible to make sure that we can solve any problems that we see without wasting too much time. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it.